Hey everyone, welcome back to East Vineland, New Jersey, back on Kubota, or we in the biz say Kubota Farms. I've just been staring at these olive trees since I last saw you. Actually, that's not true. But I was thinking that I may have been using the wrong uh, nomenclature, so to speak. I don't know, is, is an orchard... See, to me, I've been calling it the olive orchard. And I think it's an olive grove right because aren't is an orchard with vine plants and a grove is with trees i i don't know if they're interchangeable depending on what you know where you are in the country i don't know but i like to try and call things correctly um i'm gonna start calling it the olive grove if i remember to do so um it's gonna be hard for me because i think <laughs> i think i just got vine Oh, man, I got orchard. I have orchard in my brain, so I'm going to try calling it our olive grove. Um, hopefully, I won't be calling it much worse names than that um, after we have to take care of it for a season. We'll see how that all plays out. Then, um, I ran over something when I had the tractor over here, and I don't know what it was. But we were cruising along here. Maybe it was a chicken. But it's like I ran over. And I'm always looking too. Because sometimes. You'll find like the odd toy. In the middle of a place like this. I don't know. But I ran over something. Oh well. I don't see it now. Um, so I did a few things while we were gone. Was it over here that I ran over? Oh it was over here. Oh it's just this nasty hump. That's what it was. I didn't realize we had such a nasty hump there. Okay. I added a few trees. I added some trees for our chickens because they were obviously... They had no shade. So we've added some trees for this chicken pen. Kind of, you know, similar to the other pen. But I just wanted to spruce it up a little bit. I also did quite a bit of landscaping over here. I changed all of this meadow grass to a medium grass. Um, I also did a bunch of mud and dirt and made a gravel pathway through our grapevines. So I got that all done and just kind of made it look a little more natural, hopefully, that it belongs here. I also purchased a couple things. I purchased this beautiful little tow behind water tanker trailer. I decided to get the tow behind model this time instead of the one that for the pickup bed just because this thing's a little more versatile um we can tow it with the tractor we can tow it with the Kubota pickup whatever and it's also got an unreal it's got an unreal uh fill volume of 50,000 liters which i did pay the premium on because honestly those kind of things don't bother me too much um i did place this nice little water deal here this is free water since there's really not I don't think there's any free water on this map that I'm aware of. I don't think there's any ponds, lakes, or any place where you can kind of score free water. It's not completely free, though. I mean, it was like, I don't know, like 100 bucks to put down, and then you do have to pay a small maintenance fee on it every month. But um, other than that, you can chug all the water you want out of it, and, uh, and it's free. And it is a hand pump, so it kind of makes sense that it would be free. Boy, I would hate to hand pump 50,000 liters of water. That would be hell on earth. Um, so, yeah. Let's get to business. Let's, uh, let's get our, let's get our uh, vines, our grapes, watered up. Um, so they at least have some water in them before we go move on to the next month. Um... Not entirely sure how much each one takes. Let's see here. Okay, so 10,000 liters per. So that'll be a tank full for each row. Not too shabby. We'll see how long this water lasts. A lot of times, water lasts, tends to last quite a while. For like greenhouses and stuff like that. So hopefully we won't be over here 
I won't be over here. <laughs> Let's face it. It'll be me. I won't be over here watering these stinking grapes. Um, twice a day or something ridiculous. And then the other thing I saw was... Um, these you can use. You can use just water. So if we want to just do kind of a... Really basic grape thing. We can do just water. Or you can accelerate the production by using seeds, solid fertilizer, um, and manure. And our pigs are producing manure, but then I went over to check out our manure count and I realized I have been neglecting giving the pigs uh, straw. And it doesn't affect their health, I don't think, but it definitely does impact um, the manure production because I think without straw they won't produce manure. I think they produce slurry regardless but if you want manure you gotta give them straw and so I bought a few bales of straw to just get that production manure production kicked off again so hopefully they'll keep chucking out the poop so we can use it here on our grapevines Thankfully, we don't have to water our um, olive trees. That's kind of nice. I'm glad they could fend for themselves. I think the only thing <clears throat> I think the only thing we have to do for our olive grove, yeah, there you go, is um, fertilize, uh, mulch, and subsoil the mulch back into the soil. I think that's it. I'm gonna find out. And I think if you, I don't know, if you don't do any of those things, I guess your production will just go down. I don't think the trees die, so. I like foolproof things like that, you know, to some extent. I kind of like things that won't just die on me. I'm glad the animals, I'm kind of glad the animals don't don't die if they're neglected oh thank goodness for that i'm usually pretty careful about my animals though i they it gets to be a personal thing for me i start naming them and um and it gets to be kind of personal and so i don't know i mean look at the chickens you know who would want to starve our chickens you wouldn't want to starve our chickens All right, perfect. So all of our grapevines, at, at the minimum, have um, water. Oh, and I did do a little uh, mod of editing on our water fill point. Um, the this water, um, whatever water well, was set to fill at fifty. Five zero liters a second. So do the math on how long that would take to fill a 50,000 liter tank. I had zero interest in waiting that long to do that. So I, um, I simply just <laughs> went into the mod and changed that to, I think I changed it to like 2,000 or 2,500 liters a second. Um, yeah, because it was just kind of ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous. So. I suppose it would help to activate these things, wouldn't it? Let's see here. So I guess we can activate the simple one that just has. Well, do we want to? Okay, so we've got water. We've got water, seeds, and fertilizer. And we've got water. Um, seeds and manure. Yeah. I think for now, we're just going to activate, I don't know, I suppose you could activate all three of them. And these will just go red because it doesn't have the required products. Storing, yeah, we want storing right now. I'm going to go ahead and just activate all of them so I don't forget to do it later. 
I do also have um, a mod that allows us to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thought I forgot one. I do have a mod that will allow us to buy products um, straight away from here. So we don't have to buy pallets or bags of solid fertilizer and bring them over. We actually could just buy seeds and solid fertilizer right here. I don't know financially. So if we were to buy a thousand liters of seeds for $899, that actually sounds like a pretty good deal, right? Because isn't a thousand liters of seeds? Okay, so it's a little more expensive. 800 bucks here for the bag. And what did it say? $899, was it? And then for uh seeds this way nine hundred dollars for a thousand so yeah it's going kind of by the pallet price it looks like interesting very interesting and what is solid fertilizer is 1920 solid fertilizer is 1920 for a thousand liters oh and it's 1600 here so we might just as well, really, to average it out, we could simply, let's try that. Let's just take, um, I should rename these. I'll do that offline. I'm going to rename these so that they're numbered. You know, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so that I don't just look at a, a bunch of... Deals. But anyways, we know that this number one here, this grape orchard here, let's go in and let's buy um, seeds. And let's buy solid fertilizer. And one more seed. And one more solid fertilizer. And let's just see, just for fun. I don't know if we need to deactivate the standard grape. We could deactivate that. Actually, no. Let's leave it activated because this is going to probably run out before the water does. So let's just see how it does. Let's just see how it goes. We'll just do that one. We don't have a... No, we have some decent money left, but we'll just deal with that for now. We'll just see how that just goes. And I think we are ready to skip ahead to May to June. I don't think there's anything we need to worry about selling here in May. Um, we have, we're have we going to have a lot of silage, but that's not until January. And we just sold... Um, we just sold a bunch of wool. So wool season is um, going to be a few months away. So silage, wool, and we've got a bunch of stuff planted and ready to go. So, yeah, let's move on to June and um, see how our olive trees are looking. Maybe we'll have to do some work there. But let's skip ahead to June. Let's see what everything looks like. Uh, I think I'm going to have to throw some food at the pigs. I'm pretty sure they're a little bit, uh, a little bit behind. Boy, we we have some monthly expenses, don't we? Things add up when you when you lease production plants and stuff. They just tend to add up a bit, but we're doing all right. So I don't think this is mulch time yet. It doesn't look like it is. I don't think there's anything we have to do for our olives as of yet. Let's go take a quick peek ski over here at our grapes. Nothing happening yet, but that's not surprising because it really hasn't been that much time. But it is sucking down the water and it definitely is using a bit of seeds and fertilizer as well. So they're chugging away. I don't think they're going to be quick producers, but hopefully they'll make us some 
some cash. How you doing, chickens? How is how is your food looking, our little chick chicks? Let's see here. Uh, I did name our chickens a little bit differently. That's our production. Let's be helpful if I went to the animals. Sheep are doing okay. Thank you, sheep, my heroes. Pigs, <clears throat> like I said, I did fill them up with some straw. Uh, oh, they're out of protein. Okay, so we'll have to throw something at them. I think we have some soybeans. And I think soybean counts as protein. And then the chickens. Oh, you're doing okay. You're not too bad off. Uh, that's the original one. They need some sunflowers. We can go over. Do we have sunflowers over here waiting for our chickens? Or not so much. Oh, yeah. We've got sunflowers, right? Or is this wheat? Sunflower it is. All right. Yeah, I know. They're squawking at me a little bit. I'm going to throw some sunflowers at you there, girly girls. Let's see how that lines up. Yeah, that's not too shabby. I think that'll do the trick for now. All right. That'll make you guys happy for a while. Uh, let's head over to... Actually... Let's hop on our tractor. Head back to the farm. Run over our soybean, our sugar beets. And I think we're gonna grab our trailer and throw some soybean in the back of it and take it over to the pigs. If I recall correctly, soybeans our protein. Might be wrong on that, but I think that is correct. Get up underneath there. And let's see what we got here. Canola. Soybeans. Ooh, pulled a little head there. That's all right. She, as long as it made it into the trailer, we're good. Let's uh, scooch on over. But I'll tell you what. That color configurator mod. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's nice to have the old Kubota orange trailer in game now. Oh yeah, poop is starting to be made again. I can tell already that the sheep are happy that they've got some straw. That one's popping a squat. He'll, it'll actually go to some use now. So according to our friends the sheep, why are you not showing up as a dump site? Am I doing something wrong? Am I off that much? Maybe I am off that much. Am I off that much? Well, I guess I was off that much. Alright. Just for fun, I'm going to dump... Not all of it, but give them some here. And... Protein indeed. Okay, good. Alright. I think you'll... I think we're just going to give them the rest of these soybeans. Uh, what was there, like 15,000 liters or something like that? Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. And they're cranking down finally on the root crop, too, so that's good. Um, they will need some grain. I don't know that we have really any grain right now, though, to give them. Is canola... I think canola... I always forget. I forget if canola is considered a grain. I think it is. But we're not going to worry about it. They're happy with... Uh, they're happy with what they have. As long as their health stays up and they keep crapping. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll be good to go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because yesterday I checked them our, uh, before I um, left the game, and it was like 73,000. So, oh, yeah. 
we got we got some poop action again going on, so that's good. Keep it up, ladies. Gonna need gonna need some of that. That's gonna be some work too, because we're gonna have to use our telehandler, maybe get a decent bucket or something, and be able to scoop that out and throw it in the back of the trailer. I would so love to buy that uh, boy I might just lease that thing it's so it's so much less work um, you all know what I'm talking about even though I talk in riddles a lot uh, this thing here oh no I always go to the wrong one this guy here this forage pickup this <clears throat> I think every farm should have this thing it is so brilliant it's just so easy and fast. Um, yeah, that'd be great. And let's see, if we look in, somebody mentioned in the comments. Oh, that was uh, for Old Family Farm, I think. Somebody was telling me about a mulcher that um, I'll have to look again. But I think that was for Old Family Farm, I think. So, yay. All right. Pigs are good, chickens are good, sheep are good. I know I'm going to have to transfer some silage from our fermenting silo back over to our storage barn. Um, let's take a quick peek at actually how that's looking right now. Where is that? That's under this fermenting silo. Oh, yeah, it's doing OK. All right. So it's still working there. Then the only other things that I don't want to forget about is we have um, the tailor shop working on making clothes. Oh, there is a pallet of clothing. Nice. Okay. So when do we sell clothes? I don't know. When do we sell clothing? Clothing, clothing. Clothing, cheese, not cheese. Oh, oh, April. Well, we missed that a little by a little bit, didn't we? All right. Well, you can sit there for a while then. And then the only other place that has, I think, active production for us right now is the spinnery. And do you have anything going still? Oh, yeah. It's still working the wool. Okay. Okay. Excellent. So it's still working the wool. Our grain mill has nothing in it, I don't think. Yeah, there's nothing in our grain mill. There will be soon, but not right now there's not. So our fermenter's working, grain mill's working. Grain mill's not working. Clothing is being made and fabric is being made. So we're in good shape. Our, our uh, grapevines... Boy, can I jump over to the grapevines? Nice, okay. Our grapevines are going to be chugging away. I'm going to do a little thinking about how best to feed these things, whether or not we're just going to do water, or I think as long as we have the money, we might as well feed them seeds and fertilizer. And may even look into... I know that there's some mods out there that let you convert... Um, there's a seed production mod that I've used before that seemed really OP. Like, it was producing seeds like there's no tomorrow. And I felt bad about using it because it it was just making me rich beyond belief. And it just seemed really not right. Um, and I forget what it took. But I know that there's mods out there that I think take manure and a couple other ingredients possibly and you can make seed from so maybe we'll look into something like that but honestly at this point i think i'm just going to be happy with us just buying the production items that we need other than manure maybe um seeds and fertilizer solid fertilizer i think if we just buy them straight ahead from here hey we're paying for them you know the only difference would be going down and grabbing bags bringing them over and setting the bags here uh, which just doesn't seem particularly necessary you know at this point in the game so 
that's going to do it, I think, for this episode. That's kind of all I had really planned for this episode. Um, just to get a good running start off here in June. Um, I know that we've got some other things that we need to do here in June. I just noticed that it's at halftime, so I'll move that up a little bit. But I think that's all we have working for us this morning. I'll do a little peeking around and see what else we're missing. Certainly, I tend to miss things. And then, um, yeah, it'll be harvest season before you know it. But uh, thanks, everyone, for joining me again here in East Vineland. I do really appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I'd appreciate that as well. Subscribe if you feel like you want to join a team. That'd be awesome as well. Make sure you take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And if you've got chickens, make sure you keep feeding them. They'll be happier chickens. And I will see you all back here in East Vineland tomorrow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> tomorrow I will see you back here. All right. Have a good day. Bye for now.